new to Global Harvest Church, we know that the, when we worship, God's glory comes into manifestation, and I can sense that glory in this house. It is very strong right now. And when I say strong, I mean strong. When I say strong, I mean strong. Look at your neighbor and say, the glory of God is very strong right now. So the anointing of the Holy Spirit is very strong right now. Say, healing power is very strong right now. Praise God. So if all the testimonies you heard earlier were true, then God will do it again. If that preacher was not lying on the power of God, then definitely the power of God is here to do it again. You know, and for healing ministers, they know that one of the ways you stir up the healing waters is testi testimony. Have you ever seen Luke chapter 4 before? Luke chapter 4. Let me show you something from Luke chapter 4 while I'm trying to hear the right thing from the keyboard. Luke chapter 4. Uh, look at verse 8. Let's read from verse 17. Glory to God. Luke chapter 4 from verse 17. And he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. This was Jesus who was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. He looked for it and he found the place where it was written. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind. To set the liberty to those who are oppressed. Let's read on verse 19. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Then he closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. Now, Jesus sat down on a seat according to church history that was reserved in the synagogue for the Messiah. Every synagogue built. Synagogue was a place of worship every synagogue built had a seat that they said they were reserving for the Messiah that when the Messiah comes he will sit down there and teach them the word of God now this was in Nazareth the hometown of Jesus the Lord Jesus had been attending church so to speak he had been attending synagogue there from when he was a child till he grew up I give the next two minutes for anybody that needs to move around this auditorium to get anywhere to move in two minutes time I'm going to stop all movement so the Lord Jesus Christ now sat down on that seat and the eyes of all who are in the synagogue were fixed on him. Okay? So the Lord Jesus said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Look at what he now said next, verse 21. 21. Look at what the Lord Jesus Christ said next. And he began to say to them, Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. He was telling them, look, that Messiah is here. I am that Messiah and I am anointed. Hallelujah. Jesus was the Messiah and Jesus was anointed. And Hebrews 13 verse 8 says, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he was anointed, he is still anointed. Is that not so? And he is the head of the church and we are the body. His anointing is on the body. So his anointing is here tonight. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. Apart from that, me, Victor D. Amy, I am anointed with healing power. I'm anointed just to let you know, so to stir up your faith. Jesus always did that in order to get the people to believe in his anointing. And I want you to believe in the anointing of Jesus that is here tonight that is in global others and that is upon me tonight all right um go back to that go back we have not done we are not done yet in that luke chapter 4 verse 22 now luke chapter 4 so all bore witness to him and marveled at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth so they marveled at what talk to me somebody please don't lose focus they marveled at what gracious words so what they marveled at were gracious words nothing else but gracious words they knew that the words coming out of his mouth were not ordinary he was anointed to preach okay and they said ah uh -uh, is not this joseph's son ah 
Next verse, next verse. He said to them, you will surely say this proverb to me, physician. Heal yourself. Whatever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in your country. How did they hear what happened in Capernaum? This was only about six months after he had left Nazareth and he just came back. The truth was that they were not aware. They didn't hear before. So now he was now saying, whatever you hear, so how did they hear? He told them. He shared testimonies with them of what happened in Capernaum. Just like you heard testimonies this evening of things God had done here in this church before and in different places. Glory be to God. You know, but instead of them reacting positively, they reacted negatively. They said, ah, is this not Joseph's son? It should be we know the father now. Is it not the same guy who's been attending church here before? In fact, look at what, what the, the, let's go to the same story in Mark chapter 6. Mark chapter 6 very quickly. Mark chapter 6, let's look at verse 3. In verse 3 there, just because of time. Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of J James, Jos Joseph, Judas, and Simon? They mentioned the names of the younger brothers of Jesus. And then they now said, and are not his sisters here with us? So they were what? Offended at it. Hey, hey, it's not the Messiah. He is lying. Hey, it is not true. They had a negative attitude. Look at the results. Next verse, verse 4. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own country, among his own relatives, and in his own house. Verse 5. Uh, now he could do no mighty work there, except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and he healed them. Because in his village they didn't believe in him, he couldn't do miracles. Any believer in Jesus here tonight? Ah, that yes was a little bit weak, like somebody made you say it. Any true believer in Jesus, any believer in his healing power, any believer that he is here tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lay your hand on where the sickness is in your body. Then just follow simple instructions by faith. Uh, if, if you can put the hand on your neck, if the problem is in your neck, you could not turn it around. If the problem is in your head, lay your hand on your head. If it is in your back, lay your hand on your back. That person with the problem in your knee, lay your hand on your knees. All those of you who cannot see far with your glasses, remove those glasses. Lay your hands on your eyes. Some of you can't see near. Some of you can't. The vision is blurry. Whatever it is, lay your hand upon it now. And stop moving around, please. Wherever you are, suspend all movements for now. And if you say, why, pastor? The Holy Spirit is here. We can't see him with our eyes, but let us treat him with respect and honor and reverence. If Jesus were here physically right now, all of us will behave ourselves. That is the way we, by faith, behave towards the Holy Spirit. We can't see him, but we must know he is here. We respect him. When we respect, honor, and reverence him, he moves in our midst. He moves mightily. So let's stop moving around, please. You can stand where you are at the end of prayer. You can be looking for seat and all of that. Ushers, stop sitting people from now. Ushers, stop sitting people from this moment. I want no movement in this auditorium in the next few minutes and we will see miracles. Lay your hand on your body and let's worship him together right now. Hallelujah. Be expectant of your miracle. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We honor you, Lord. We worship you. We adore you. We bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I rebuke every sickness. I rebuke every disease. I bind every spirit of infirmity. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, leave this room right now leave the bodies of everyone hearing me right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I release the healing power of God to touch everybody here in the name of Jesus touch somebody's chest touch somebody's lungs touch somebody's
somebody's liver, touch somebody's heart, touch somebody's kidney, touch somebody's back, touch somebody's eyes, touch somebody's ears, touch somebody's head. Let the healing virtue of Jesus touch somebody's shoulders, touch somebody's knees, touch somebody's waist, touch every joint in someone's body here. Let the healing power of Jesus flow through you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, where you are say, I receive the healing power of God into my body right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I curse every cancer. I curse every tumor. I curse every fibroid tissue. I curse every hernia. I curse every boil and every ganglion, every growth, every fluid, wherever in your body that ought not to be there. And that's to be there, and I command them disappear. Disappear in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We command blocked fallopian tubes open up. We command right now every incompetent cervix receive strength in the name of Jesus. We command dead wombs come alive, dead ovaries come alive, ovarian cysts disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the power of the Holy Spirit flow through you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I say be healed in the name of Jesus. I say be healed in the name of Jesus Christ with your hand on your body say I am healed by the power of God. I am healed by the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Begin to give God the glory for it. We give you all the glory. Let's sing it. Lift that song. We give you Somebody's ankle has just been healed. 
Start standing on it. Say, Uncle, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Put your faith to work right now because your knees have been healed. Arthritis is healed in this house in the name of Jesus. Somebody had a testimony of asthma and you asked the Lord to do it for you. Asthma is being healed in this house right now. Father, I give you the praise for it. Somebody watching from home, I see you being healed of migraine headache. In Jesus' name, I rebuke that headache. It goes in Jesus' name. Another one with a dental problem is being healed, both in the house and at home, in the name of Jesus. Sing that hallelujah. The power, the power of the Holy Spirit is flowing through this house right now. Move your body, come on. Whatever you couldn't do before, somebody who couldn't breathe properly before, breathe in deeply now. You can breathe well because you are healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing virtue. Somebody is beginning to see far. You couldn't see far before. Begin to look around. You can see better than before. And you can see far in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that short-sightedness. It goes in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't need to call out your healing. Just receive it by faith. Somebody's heart condition has been healed. Their blood pressure has been stubborn for a long time. Your blood pressure normalizes and that palpitation, that irregular heartbeat is gone. Thank you, Jesus, for healing that heart condition. I worship you, Jesus. Come on, move your bodies, everybody. Listen to me. If, if some of you check your bodies right now, you will discover there is a change in your body. I'm telling you that. Check your bodies right now. Check your bodies right now. You say, Pastor Victor, it is true. There is a change in my body. Wave your right hand. If there is a change in your body, wave your right hand to Jesus. If there is a change in your body, if there is a change in your body, let me see you wave your hand. All of you waving your hands, come out to me. Come quickly. Please come quickly. Very important. Don't stay on your seat. Come. Come quickly, please. Please, don't stay on your seat. If there's a change in your body, come down wherever you are or come out from wherever you are. If there's a change in your body, please don't stay on your seat. Allow this move of God to build up. As you come, you are going to have this move of God build up tonight. Come and lift it. Let all the instruments go right now. Let's sing the song. Oh. Somebody's ear infection has also been healed. Father, I give you praise. The Holy Spirit is witnessing to me 
that there are many more of you who have received instant healings in your bodies. If you are not sure, check your body. But you are not out here yet. If you know you are not out here yet and something has happened in your body, get out of your seat now and come and join us here quickly. Do it quickly. Now. Now. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Just come out here. Step out and come out and join us here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Come. Come. Come please. It's good for you. For the permanence of your healing. For your miracle to be permanent. Talk to me. What happened here? Can we have volume on this microphone, please? Sorry, you said? My leg, my right, the left leg used to pay me, so I can't walk very well. I can't dance very well. But now... All the pain's gone. Yes. And we're not expecting them back anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. What happened to you? When I wake up this morning, I was feeling headache right at this left, left side, side of, of my head. head with my eyes. So I was not comfortable since morning. So when you came and you asked us to put our hands and it just disappeared. Yes, Thank you, exactly. Jesus. What happened to you? Um, I normally have a uh, stomach pain at this side. And uh, when you when say stomach it, pain and you are touching this side, this that's side. not the yes. stomach is in front here. So side this, side <laughs> this side of your yes, belly. Yes, oh. of belly. Okay. And, I felt relieved and, and it's relieved. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Pastor Tolu. Yes, I had this excruciating pain in my knee. I was telling my husband yesterday, it took me a while to climb the stairs. And now I feel relieved really now. Relieved. Thank you, Jesus, for yeah. healing your daughter. And we call the healing permanent and we call it perfect in Jesus' name. Yes, talk to me, my dear. I was having serious stomach pain during the praises. I went to the back to go and sit down. I said, No, I used to be a dancer in this church. I came to the front, I was dancing. You were dancing Through by faith. Process While the, the dancing was going on, the pain disappeared. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus, for healing her. I like that. Somebody shout hallelujah. What happened to you, Ma? Before, I couldn't bend this left knee. You but couldn't... now I can bend. Wow. She couldn't bend her left knee. For how long have you suffered the trouble? About a week ago. And now you are bending it yes. freely. Thank you, Jesus, for healing her. What happened to you? I had pain on this side of my neck um, for about a week now. Wow. And it, Take a seat, please. It's been getting, sometimes it relieves me, sometimes it gets worse. So, so many times I had to massage it. Wow. And it wasn't really getting better, but now my neck is fine. Pastor Lad needs to be a better masseur next time, okay? <laughs> Love masseur will heal these things eh? at home. Glory to God. But right now no more pains whatsoever thank you jesus for healing her yes my dear what happened to you i had pain on my two knee my dad used to tell me that my grandma used to have the same pain that you, maybe now talk to me again you said you had pain where on my two knee on your two knees yes. and your dad, my dad said, say, said um my grandma used to have the pain your grandma used to have the same pain yes, the same pain and your dad had the same pain oh. yes yes sir. so from grandma to daddy to you you're not as young as you are. What happened tonight? No, I can't feel any pain anymore. You can't feel any pain anymore. Yes, we sir. command it to leave your daddy's knees too, where he is in the name of Jesus. Talk to me, ma. Okay, so uh, uh, for some, about three months, I've been having neck pain. I was actually on neck collar for uh, the last three months. So um, when we got into the auditorium today, I had this peppery feeling around my neck. And that happens if it seemingly looks like the pain has started. Yeah. But the moment we started praying, I just covered I could turn the neck very well. And I wasn't seeing any, I wasn't feeling any of the pain anymore. No pains anymore. I'm aware of this one because she's our director of finance. I am aware that she's had this neck problem. And she only left the collar at home so people won't be asking what's the problem. Thank you, Father, for healing her. I told her she'll be healed at the convention. Let's hear from Mama. Yes, Ma. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've been suffering from arthritis. Arthritis. arthritis in my two knees. In your two knees. knees. Support knee is there. Oh, you have support knee mm -hmm. there. Wow. To stand up is problem. Wow. So, in Jesus' name, we declare total healing for your knees. Let the healing virtue of Jesus place all this for me. Healing virtue of Jesus flow through this. Is I can feel the support on the two knees. Jesus, your mercy is abundant. 
you took her infirmities and bore her sicknesses 2,000 years ago. Let your healing virtue flow into these two knees now. Let every pain go. Let the bones, the ligaments, the muscles all be healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Please pick up your legs. Pick up your legs this way. Before Sorry. I cannot move like this. You couldn't move like this. Stand up before. Wow. God is very. When I sat there, I used to sit down and stand up when I went. Wait, 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 we need to hear this. You said? I need, I need to sit down is a problem. To stand up is a problem. Wow, to sit down a problem, to, 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 to need a problem. You are always feeling pains in your knees. I could even give me injection for needs last year, last month. But right now the pains are gone? Not right. You can't feel any pain right now. I can't see any pain now. Can, can you walk without your support? Let's see. Walk without your support. Yeah. Yes, sir. Any, any pains? Glory be to God. Come back, turn around and come back, ma. Do you feel any pain right now? No pains. Let's give Jesus the glory. Hallelujah. God bless you, ma. You can help her back to her seat. All right. Where do I go? Do I continue here? It's a bit clumsy here. Let's go back to the beginning of the line. Let them get the line straight there. Just talk to me, my sister. Yes, I've been feeling knee pain for some days. Knee pains yes, for some, knee some days now. And your ankle and too. too. And your back too. Yes. Uh -huh. They used to say maybe due to delivery. Maybe that's why I'm feeling the back Maybe pain. because of the delivery of your baby. Yes. They will always have one reason or the other for it. But Jesus took it all 2,000 years ago. Now tonight, do you feel any pain anymore? I, I all the pain's gone. Anymore. Come on, somebody say praise the Lord. <laughs> yes, my dear. Talk to me. What happened to you? Okay, so for like three weeks now, I've been having this pain around my chest area yeah. so yesterday i was complaining to my husband that the pain is too much i'm not sure i can stay but when you came up stage i had to check like is the pain still there <laughs> the pain has disappeared i can't feel the pain come anymore. on somebody give jesus the glory yes my darling so i use glasses i can and see i'm long and short-sighted yeah then I, then light affects my eyes and then yeah. my visions are very blurry yeah and now there's no difference between the glasses on my eye come on somebody give jesus the glory both long-sighted and short-sighted and her eyes could not handle light and jesus healed all the three in one fell swoop never again in jesus name somebody shout hallelujah Yes, sir. What happened to you? Some months ago, I was on um, back pain before, but now I'm. Um, for some months now, you've had back pain. Yeah. All the pain's gone. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Jesus, for healing him. Yes, ma. It's blurry vision. I didn't even see it as an issue because I was used to the glasses. <laughs> but when you said remove your glasses yes. and place your hand on the eyes, yes. and then you declared on blurry vision, I did. I obeyed. And then it took me a while to come out because I, I couldn't see anything on my phone yeah. without my glasses before. That's right. So I had to test yeah. and see if I could read. Yeah. And I was able to read <laughs> and I was able to see. As if, uh, it's not glory. Somebody yes. shout hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> yes, I've been having a pain all over my body and my left knee. Yeah. Uh, right. Right okay. knee. Right knee for some time, maybe about three days. But uh, it got so worse yesterday. I couldn't make it for the evening service. Wow. But today, when you said healing, this is one of our pastors. She couldn't make church healing. yesterday because of how so painful the knee was. It was so was. excruciating that even while I was driving, I was feeling like sleeping. Wow. So I had to take some time off to rest yesterday evening. But as I got inside, you, you have already started ministration. I said, yes, tonight is my night. That's right. And I wasn't wrong at all. No I couldn't man. feel any pain whatsoever. Come on, somebody. On right. Somebody shout hallelujah. It's permanent in Jesus' name. Yes, my darling. Um, so I woke up yesterday with a cold and it affected my throat. My, I've been cold. having this. Yes, I felt it's a cold because I was just sneezing and coughing. Yeah. Then my throat has been so sore. I've not been able to swallow. So, uh, as we started praying, and he said we should touch where um, we are ill, yeah. I touched it, and I felt it relieve me. But yeah. I had to swallow. Yeah. But I didn't come out initially. Yeah. But then you mentioned again that you, you said the throat, that throat infection has been healed. 
and I cannot feel any pain. Even yeah. my nose is clear. I've not coughed. I've not sneezed. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Happy for you, my dear. Yes, my dear. Okay, um, I've had back pain, shoulders to my back for, a while, for about two months. Or about. Two months. Yes, wow. So I've just been trying to manage and cope with it. So when you said we should touch our back, I wasn't going to my, touch my back before because I was on back up. But I just tried holding my back while we were singing. As, as, we, as we were singing, I could feel the pain while I came in. Yeah. You know, but now I'm not oh, feeling it. Even on my back, I We declare them anything. gone permanently in Jesus' name. Yes, what happened to you? See, I used to have back pains too. Back pains and waist pains. So when you mentioned that we should put our hands where it used to pain us, yeah. I put it, I can't feel anything. And it's all gone now. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. What happened to you, little fellow? So, I've been having asthmatic attacks since when I was five. Wow. And now, I'm healed. You believe you're healed now? How do you, what, what do you feel? How, how? How do you know you are here? What difference did you feel tonight? I felt that before I couldn't breathe in like to my lungs and yeah. I won't go. It, 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 your, your breathing was not very deep before. But now the end that deep. I tried to breathe in, I will cough. When you try to breathe in deeply, you will cough before. We are trying again now to breathe in deeply. No cough. Thank you, Jesus, for healing this asthma. <laughs> Never again will asthma afflict this young man in jesus name come and somebody say praise the lord yes sir you guys are wearing the same thing okay quiet oh i say glory to god i thought you were twins or something <laughs> go ahead please so my own is a bit different so while i was standing here before the worship i noticed that my heart is like packed up in it's, it's like I'm distracted. So at some point, I just felt like they poured a cold water into my spirit. Are you I trying felt, to describe something emotional? Like you are going through an emotional so, thing? Like I have so many things packed up in my heart. Like I'm not expressing and I'm, I couldn't worship. You are, not, you are not in a happy place. Yes. You are in a depressed state. Sorry. And it was just like the cold, cold, cold water. water because it heals the broken hearted also. Thank you, Jesus for mending his heart. It's permanent in Jesus' name. What happened to you? Praise the Lord. I came here with an excruciating waist pain that has lingered for a week. Wow. That even affected my walking. But at the moment you spoke the word, I felt something left me. And now I can bend without feeling the pain. Come on, somebody. Right Say praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't stand here. So you guys need to come closer. Bye. Yes, what happened to you? Over here. Let's start all over again here. Yes, please. So, so I do have this terrible headache. Yeah. Whenever I overstress myself. Um, while the praise and worship was going on, you know, where it was so exciting moment. I was jumping, shouting, and I was feeling it so terrible that when Pastor actually said that we should be shouting, at that time, I couldn't shout anymore. I just held my head. Wow. So why you said that we should touch wherever um, we are having pain. So I laid my head, hand on my head. And I also brought out my phone because uh, my daughter, sometimes she just wakes up at the middle of the night and she starts coughing. So I also laid my second hand on her picture on my phone. You believe so she's right, here. Yes, sir. So right there and there, I was just shaking my head and I couldn't feel the headache. Pain and the again. God who healed the daddy, we believe has healed the mommy too. I mean the daughter too in Jesus' name. Oh. <laughs> she's in the media ministry of Lagos, I thought maybe she was here to take some pictures. Talk to me. What happened to you? Um, so I have two testimonies. Um, first, when we were praising and um, we were dancing all over, um, I had had body pain the past four days and I was just managing it. And I just jumped. I just jumped and did a ridiculous dance here. And I, I don't feel anybody. And all the pain is gone. And Don't <laughs> a ridiculous dance. You see that? And it just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> and um, when I was coming down here, um, I I was shooting. I was I was shooting, and I I missed a step, and no I seemed to have strained. <laughs> I was shooting a video, and I seemed to have strained my ankle. I literally felt it go flat this way. Wow! And I paused and froze because I was scared. I've never broken a, a bone, <laughs> but. 
I just held myself and went back up to sit down. And while you were praying, I stretched my ankle. I twisted it. I, and and I Jesus don't had anything. touched it. Come on, somebody say praise the Lord. Yes, my dear. Okay, I have two testimonies. So in June, I had an accident and it affected my shoulder and my chest. So while you were praying, I just put my hand there. And right now, I cannot feel any pain no on pain. my shoulder. Wow. I cannot feel any pain in my chest. Hallelujah. And I'm so grateful to God because it's been bad. I couldn't sleep well. Wow. So I thank God. And then also, I had tonsil pain since yesterday. But while you said every throat infection is healed, I tried to swallow and there was no resistance at all in my throat. So Come on, somebody give Jesus the glory. Yes, sir. Um, for about some months ago, I've been feeling uh, itches around my, around my body. I keep itching. So, and I've taken different kinds of drugs for it, but it didn't go. So, I was just believing that this harvest fire, my healing will be permanent there. So that's why I make it as a point of a uh, 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 duty. Thank you, sir. To come here. That I should be in this convention. I won't miss any. Yeah. If I can't make the morning, I will make the evenings. So when you, I'm, I was waiting for my time to come, uh, that you will, there will be time for healing session. So right. I just believe God that the itches have gone. Now, thank you. Jesus. I know that I'm going to keep uh, uh, the, the itches. We go finally. Now, later, I, I believe I'm still going to have testimony about it to, to talk about the permanence of it. So, but for, for now, right now, for it now, has disappeared. The have, have disappeared. And they will never come back anymore in Jesus' name. Yes, ma. I was sitting at the back at the medical corner so, during Pastor Yuen's session yesterday. Yeah. So, I noticed that my vision was getting blurred. Yeah. So I just thought, oh, maybe stress or something. I just thought, let me just check my blood pressure. So I saw that shoots really high. Wow. So I went home, I tried to sleep. I came back in the morning again. It was still high and my vision was still blur. So I, tr because I have an understanding of medical terminologies and all, I tried to normalize it. So maybe it's stress, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. When I said, that's why should I be confessing my experience when I can declare and confess the word of God, the word of God and also declare my expectation. So I just said, I was kept speaking the word of God as many scriptures that I knew about healing. So, I was confessing tonight? It. so tonight when I came in, um, I Abams was ministering and I was supposed to go out to do something, but the Holy Spirit said, stay during the worship session. So I danced and all then when he came, up, um, up stage and you said I just feel, I felt it strongly that there was an healing venture as long as we were coming in with um, the other pastors yeah. the vision still we getting clear. clear so I started praying it was clearer initially when you said we should come out I said ah, the vision is still blow but I just said I'm oh, still going to come out as I came here the vision now is very clear very, very I can see clear. very clear the headache that I had is gone. Wow. Then I felt, my legs felt really heavy. So I couldn't wear shoes. I had, I have many shoes in my car. I, I have a mobile, I carry it so that I, in case, anywhere I need it. But I, I said, let me just wear slippers. But as I came to this point, it, it, felt, light, it felt right lighter. Now. Then as we were praying to, I, my father-in-law was diagnosed with a severe form of hemorrhoid two days ago and he had to go to the hospital this evening because so i just declared that i believe god for it's his healing in jesus Amen. name yes please thank you sir this morning i couldn't attend service because i woke up with um excruciating back pain wow and um i just knew that i had to rest and all of that so my husband thought i wasn't coming this evening and then i said no we're going to church together i was seated back there i was praising praying and um the first call, I said, God, I know I am healed. Man. But I was feeling some pains. And then the second time you called, I said, I am going out. And I do not feel the pain. You anymore. can't feel any pain on your back anymore. Come on, somebody, celebrate Jesus. Yes, my dear. Two days ago, I, I was feeling uh, pain on my right leg. Yeah. And it's usually severe anytime I try to stand. So while you were praying for us, I sat down deliberately <laughs> to 
And when you were done, I stood up. The pain Absolutely was gone. Absolutely no pain. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Two weeks ago, um, I wanted to enter into my car. And um, I think mistakenly, my sister just left the handle of the car. Whoa. I banged my hair. Whoa. I felt there was blood at the back. I was just feeling the pain. Two days, uh, I mean, a day later, I started feeling discharge coming out and it was really really disturbing me at all but when i came into the service tonight I, when, while we were leading the prayer i just touched the place and i was praying and i just felt that pain reduced i still checked it again and i right now i can't feel it any longer you can't feel any pain yes. at all any longer yes sir and my my daughter too she wanted to grow See, I have a baby, a daughter, uh, a daughter that is seven months. I think one wanted to come out, so she's clinging to me like. So I just looked at her and I saw her touching her teeth while you're praying. Oh, I wow. said, "Yes, you have received uh, your the healing tonight." Come, <laughs> come on, somebody say, "Praise the Lord!" All right, quickly, let's go around the remaining. Quickly. Praise the Lord. Yeah, four months ago, I've been having shoulder pain. Yeah, it has really affected me. My shoulder pain for four yeah, months. Yeah, for four so what happened months. tonight? Yeah, tonight uh, you first of all talked about the shoulder. Yeah. Uh, after you were making mention of several. So are you still feeling uh, any pain now? Yeah, no. It's no, all gone. No, no, Praise no. God. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, some years ago I had a terrible bike accident that um, we had to use a local bone setter. So from since last week Friday I've been having this bad pain that to even sit down was so bad. As I yesterday, because I've been using leg braces throughout the week. Once I get You'll home, be using leg braces throughout, throughout the week, the week yes. when you get home. Yes. So when I'm coming to church, I will have to remove because I don't want people asking me what's wrong with your leg <laughs> and, you know. And um, as I yesterday, I tried to come out of the car. I had to hold my knee. It was that wow. pain because the knee was swollen. Wow. Even my feet was swollen. So I told my husband that I forgot to use my painkiller because I've been using painkiller to manage myself throughout the service. But today, when you came in, you climbed the stage and you said there's a flow of healing here. I started feeling one funny sensation. I was like, I sat down and I helped Dini when he asked us to help. Right now, I can fold my knee. Wow. I, I, I can fold my knee. As I, yesterday, I had to hold my leg to come down from the car. Wow. I can fold she my had knee. to hold this leg to come I down from the car yesterday. Knee. Now she's folding her knee by herself. Come on, somebody, give Jesus the glory. Some of, some of these things people are describing, you will not face them in Jesus' name. They are, they are real distress. And I'm so happy for you that the Lord has healed you. And we call this healing permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, quickly, what happened to you? I've been having chest pain for some time now. Then I told God, God, I will not have also because my elder sister she suffered from ulcer but then she got healed but when you told us to touch our chest where we were, where we were feeling pain i yeah. touched it and then i felt relieved thank you jesus for healing her how about you my darling i had waist pain around yeah. this um the both sides yeah so when you asked us to put them um, put our hands to the place so i kept my hands there and i cannot feel anything again thank you lord jesus yes ma okay um i woke up this morning feeling um, pains here. I couldn't sit well at work. Why you said we should pray? Actually, I wasn't praying for it. I was praying for my daughter, Australia. Too. She you has, are praying for your daughter. <laughs> um, she said, um, they said she was diagnosed. They said, yeah. I don't know, of mild ASD. And we I was just praying it in for Jesus' her. name, we call your daughter healed Amen. by the power of God. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. So, I was praying for my daughter, yeah. and by the time so she come back, I just, I just checked. I couldn't. Feel, I didn't even touch it. I was praying for my daughter. She was praying for her daughter, but the Lord healed her. Let's give Jesus the glory Hallelujah. for this healing. Praise God. Oh, some healings took yes. place online. We have some amazing healings online. Someone says, I've been having neck pain all day long and Jesus healed me. Wow. And somebody else says, I have my toothache has been healed. Hallelujah. And then some other person said, I'm healed without telling us exactly what. Yeah. And we have one or two people also still standing on the word for their manifestation. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory be to God. Now, 
Um, the, the, when, when we minister like this, uh, many people receive their healings on, because they are on the level of Matthew 8, 8 faith. In Matthew 8, 8, the centurion said, speak the word only and your servant will be healed. Um, however, the laying on of hands, uh, apart from the fact that it is a means of transmission of God's healing power into people's bodies, is also a helper of faith. It's a faith booster. Uh, people find it easier when hands are laid. For instance, put back that Mark chapter 6 on the screen. Mark chapter 6, verse 5. Put it back on the screen for me, media. Now you could do no mighty work there except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and he healed them. Where faith was low, he laid his hands upon a few sick folk. Uh, I'm not saying that automatically where hands are laid, faith is weak. However, laying on of hands helps where there is a lower level of faith. And that is why we are going to employ the laying on of hands right now to help the faith of some people who probably this is their first time in a service like this or who have gone through such difficulty that it's not easy for them to just believe God uh, when you are just speaking from the pulpit like that. Uh, do you understand me? But I'm just saying it for the sake of, you know, those that we are just still building up in the healing ministry, that you can just employ the laying on of hands. Also, when the level of anointing, the intensity of the healing anointing is not very strong, because when current when voltage is high i have always thought when voltage is high what happens to currents current leaps through the air when voltage is high and like john gillick used to say the anointing is the power of god in the spiritual as electricity is the power of god in the natural so when voltage is high like it was high tonight Current was leaping through the air all over the auditorium. People could be healed anywhere. People were even getting healed at home just watching the service. Okay? Now, what happens when voltage is not very high? Bring the sick in contact with the anointed directly. Are you following me, somebody? And then you will see the miracle happen. When voltage was very high, when Peter will move around, within the certain circumstance of, of Peter, just walking by the street, people have been healed. Voltage is very high. But when voltage is not very high, bring the sick in what? Direct contact with the anointed. Now, I am anointed, praise God. But I'm not the only one that is anointed tonight. We have a corporate anointing on the house tonight. Pray. So any, God can use anybody to minister. But um, he will use uh, our pastors, not only me today. So anybody that has any condition in your body and you wish that we could lay hands directly on you uh, for your healing uh, to help your faith please come out from wherever you are uh, from the top from this auditorium wherever please come out we'll see more miracles happen right now praise god oh yes we believe if you want to lay none of hands for healing please come We believe Jesus Please come, I have been lay hands on them, please. Please come, pastors. I have been lay hands on them. We receive the power. Some of you who are still sitting down, you know you need healing. Come and receive your healing. Don't stay on your seats. Softly. Yes. 
you know you need healing come and receive your healing I receive Jesus there is healing We need more pastors here, please. Jesus. There is healing. for those of you watching us at home in the name of Jesus we rebuke the sicknesses in your bodies we rebuke the diseases in your bodies where you are at home in Jesus name let the healing power of God touch you now be made whole in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let it be well with you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet somebody with congestion i can see um respiratory infection it's giving you so much congestion in your lungs and stuffiness in your nostrils supernaturally by the power of god be healed right now let it all clear up in Jesus name begin to breathe freely <laughs> yes thank you Lord Jesus for joy hallelujah hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus every sickness goes every disease leaves that's right every pain disappears every ache disappears in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth thank you master we give you glory. We give you glory. Everybody who know you've been battling depression, just stand to your feet where you are. You've been battling depression. Your heart has been weighed down. You are trying to pull out of it. It's a struggle. Please stand, stand to your feet wherever you are. I sense that somebody here, you've been, you've been battling depression. You've been trying to get out of the sadness, but it's just weighing you down. Please, please stand. Let's pray, let's pray for you. Let's pray for you. God bless you. In Jesus' name, I take authority over that spirit of depression now. Jesus' precious name, that foul spirit of sadness, that spirit of heaviness, I rebuke you. Loose
loose hold of God's inheritance in Jesus' name. Let them go right now. We command that cloud of darkness to roll away in Jesus' name. We release the garment of praise to take the place of that spirit of heaviness. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free from that depression in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the spirit of joy, the oil of joy flood your heart right now. Let peace like a river flood your soul in Jesus name. And the situations and the circumstances that weigh you down, we command them to go in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your healing power. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, we worship you. Come on, let's all worship. Let's stand to our feet, Yeshua. you our Lord and Master we enthrone you in your church and we give you the glory for every miracle every healing every deliverance today we don't touch the glory it's all yours and that's why we call your name Yeshua thank you Master thank you Lord in Jesus name we worship I said in Jesus name we worship as, now as we were worshipping the Lord reminded me of an offering I was going to take tonight how I many of you are grateful to, to God that the Lord finally air conditioned this place for us Pastor Fendi please come um, we need a little information from you uh, before we take this special offering and it has to do with uh, the fact that for us to uh, not to have interruption it's one thing to have the air conditioner it's another thing for us to have the generator that can carry it. Praise God. And I think that generator goes for something like 70 something million or something. Over 70 million naira to buy the generator. Praise God. The, the Lord who did the AC will do the generator. But there's also a, an alternative for us that can guarantee us electric power supply. Yes, sir. And that is we moving to the highly dreaded band A. Yeah, yes. Nigerians are beginning to dread band A right yeah, now. Because of the tariff. <laughs> yeah. 
because of the tariff. Yes. Now, Band A guarantees 20 hours of electricity. It's sometimes 23. 23 20, 20, and uh, so on. Yeah. Those who have their houses in Band A, they, they get between 20 to 23 hours in 24 hours. And I'm sure at times you have 24 hours, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Where personally lives, he has no choice. He has a. Uh, they've entered Band A. Please. <laughs> It's a wonderful thing to be in Band A yes. because it is close to living abroad, almost uninterrupted power supply. But you will also pay Band A money. money. So, but with Band A, we don't need uh, the generator really, and yeah, backup. So we need to. So the, the generator will truly be what it ought to be, and that is a backup. Yes, you know. And Band A is still cheaper than running diesel throughout. Oh yes, isn't it? yes. It's still cheaper than running diesel. Now it means we have to buy a new transformer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, and and uh, run the run the run uh, armored cables, new armored and, cables the, and what is the bill that we have? We have about twenty eight million. Twenty eight million naira bill. The band a, yes. uh, only somebody say only only because uh, uh, the air conditioners themselves, uh, you know, costs about one twenty four million. One twenty four million, yes. And, and you spent Whether extra money on installation. Or over twenty million for I the installation. I don't know, about twenty million yes. went to installation. Yes. Uh, so God has already provided over 145 million naira. Yes. Let's give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, uh, so if you say 28 million, that means that if 28 people here can uh, give us one one million naira, it is done. Yes. And we are so plenty here that Amen. it is preposterous for me to imagine that yes. God does not have at least 28 yes. children yes. in this place tonight Amen. who can do so. Amen. So. Um, thank you very much. That's the information I need from you. How many of you believe that God has at least 28 children and churches? If we want to also talk about churches, praise God. You know, so if a pastor comes to stand here, a pastor can stand here either on behalf of himself or his church. Praise God. For one million naira only. Yes, ma yes, sir. Yeah, some people online too might want to to join us and we'll appreciate it all our sons and daughters and friends in the diaspora watching us this one million naira we are talking about is how much in dollars how much in dollars about seven hundred dollars if you are watching us from the u.s it's about seven hundred dollars if you are watching us from uk it's a little over 400 pounds only and uh, and this one million naira is done praise god all right so uh, I'm standing here as number one out of the 28. Uh, my wife will come and stand beside me as number two. Don't move near me too much. Let my wife come and stand beside me as number two. Praise. Okay, so my wife is so you can now stand as close as possible. Uh, so let <laughs> so let people be joining us here until there are 28 people here to the glory of God. 28 people and churches and businesses here. Or families, praise God. Twenty-eight only. Someone say twenty-eight only. Praise God, so that uh, Global Harvest Church headquarters can be enjoying their AC headquarters. Listen to you. Listen to me. We rent a generator for you for this convention. Uh, praise God. Oh yeah. So headquarters people begin to make your way out here. Come and be part of it. We didn't come to do it. We, we came to join you to do it so praise God hallelujah ah, one two three four five six seven people only here praise God I'm waiting in Jesus name thank you very much eight of us only here nine of us here thank God so there are nine people here oh yeah we are waiting we are waiting where's Pastor Emmanuel Aeva I trust you Global Harvest Church of Maryland will be here. Maryland is here. VI is here. Praise God. I want to face the altar again. Before I turn and face you again. Amen. May the Lord touch your hearts to give and be a part of this in Jesus' name. Praise God. So the Lord has done it so far to the degree of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people here. 9 out of 28 is not a good score in arithmetic. Uh, 10, 11 to the glory of God. 11 over 28 is not even pass mark. <laughs> pass mark is uh, 12, praise God. 
So 12 over 28. It's not still past mark. It's even 14 that will be past mark. <laughs> Praise God. 14. Hallelujah. One million naira. Can I hear somebody say only? Only one million last song. God bless you, sir, for, for this sacrifice from your ministry. What you are making happen for us, God will make happen for you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are seeing ministries outside of Global Harvest Church. They are doing it. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Lord is using them for us. Hallelujah. One million naira. Oh, let me ask your neighbor, say, how much is in your account right now? Say, if it is more than one million. Eh, for long now. Eh, let me tell your neighbor, eh, for Jesus, eh, for Jesus gave you, eh, eh, my hawa, eh, my joko lekene, bekene, wa, eh, <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. On behalf of your business, on behalf of your family, on behalf of your church, or ministry, come and join us. Glory to God. The Lord is doing it. We are getting there gradually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen of us. Uh, nineteen of us. Uh, you are clapping. We still need nine more people. Uh, oh, nine more people. Am I take part? It is not yet done nine more people praise God we want it done Jehovah, Jehovah sharp sharp praise God within the next one month <laughs> if you HQ if you come here when I go have you forgotten the way you used to farm body before <laughs> praise God all right then can I have one more person that the Lord will use finally 20 did I say finally it shouldn't be final, but anyway, 21 has joined. Hallelujah. 22 has joined. Amen. Six more people. There's nobody given in this economy that is not given sacrificially. It is sacrificial. Praise God. But that's the way God will also bless you exceedingly, abundantly above what you ask or think in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Anybody else joining us so that our joy can be full. Glory to God. Oh, okay. Pastor, for sure. When I saw you standing up, my hope was rising as you rose. My hope rose with you. Praise God. But as you are going back like this, my hope began to... <laughs> Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, it's always a joy and a privilege to give. And to give sacrificially. But Lord, we want to thank you for each and every one of your children standing here at various levels of finance. But Lord we stand here by revelation not by anything else but by revelation we know that when we do this when we make this sacrifice our god shall supply all our need according to his riches in glory by christ jesus and so bless this ones who stand here visit them with abundance of provision they are taking money they will have used for other purposes and they are giving it the very purposes earlier intended for the money fulfill it to overflowing we pray and do much more than they can imagine thank you because you are a miracle walking God and you will do 
mighty miracles for all of them in Jesus name and somebody says amen yeah somebody joined online so somebody's chatting so we have number 24 who joined us online because number 23 just joined us here while we're praying God bless you and number 24 joined us online all right praise God don't worry we're not going to ask you to write anything we trust all of you here you are people of integrity and we're going to put the account details on the screen so that if it can be done immediately let it be done if you will need to get home to do it uh, then uh, we just go ahead and take the details home with you so that you will be able to do it as soon as possible thank you may the lord bless you richly we appreciate you we appreciate your gesture of love we really really appreciate you hallelujah actually the, the 24 means that we are only four million naira away and the 24 million naira means eight people giving us five hundred thousand 16 people giving us two fifty thousand and it is done you know eight million eight people giving us five hundred thousand sixteen people giving us two fifty thousand and it is done praise god so if you are going to be part of or oh, hundred thousand people hundred, how many people giving us hundred thousand Oh, okay, the balance of the 4M has come in. Praise God. Hallelujah. Anonymously, balance of the 4M has come in. Praise God. So, the 28 million is done. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, somebody's like, oh, and I was wishing I could do something. Amen. Yes, you will do. Amen. Tell your neighbor, you will do your own. Praise God. Just feel free and do it. Praise God. As you are led. <laughs> but thank you very much. We give God the glory. We have that sorted. Praise God. So between now and next year, if the generator has not come, we'll tell you about the generator or some other project. Praise God. Hallelujah. We have 13 million naira in savings for the generator. So, um, anybody that felt like giving and you couldn't join this 1 million people, you can still sow into this project, into the generator project. So, because we are going to 70 something million on that one. Praise God. So, your own half a million, quarter of a million, 100,000 can go into generator. So, anybody who was wishing you could be part of it at your own level, that you will now become part of generator project whatever it is 100 250 whatever just stand up and come out here 500 whatever come out here let me pray for you also thank you thank you it's men of god that stood up first again thank god <laughs> these men they know the word that they preach and teach works that's why they are doing this praise god thank you 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 oh glory be to god Glory be to God. We appreciate you. Thank you for your for your commitment. Thank you for your faith. Ah, hey. Even Dr. Lunga who came to minister to us in spiritual things. What the Bible says is that when people minister spiritual things to them to us, we should minister back to them in our carnal things. Dr. Lunga, you are spoiling us. You are ministering to us in the spiritual. You are, you are, you are, that this is a missionary eh? standing here. Praise God. Oh my goodness. May the Lord our God multiply his grace over your ministry. May he enlarge your coast mightily and massively. Extend your territory beyond your wildest imagination. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. I'm about to pray and I feel like the Holy Spirit is not just for people. Go out, go out. It's not the devil. You are saying something is telling me to go. It's not something, it's the Holy Spirit. So just yield. Say yes. So let me give 10 more seconds for all of you who need to yield to the something that is telling you to go. It's not something. It's the Holy Spirit. And it's because he wants to bless you. That's why. So let me give you a few more seconds to join us. And we'll pray for you. Praise God. We don't force money out of people in Global Harvest. <laughs> we don't force it. We just encourage you to give. Praise God. 
Mm. We appreciate you all. Because the word works. I said the word works. We give primarily because we love the Lord. We, are the, we don't play ATM machine with God or casino. You know, we give, you know, our, our, hearts, are <laughs> our hearts of love towards the Lord. However, I, I've been hearing people preaching against it that there's nothing like that, that uh, they say you should give and that, that it's a key to prosperity. That I'm, I'm wondering whether the verses of the Bible that says, be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man so well, that shall he also reap like Galatians 6, 7. Whether they have yanked it out of their Bibles. Is it that they have yanked uh, Philippians 4, 19 out of their Bibles in the name of preaching the Christocentric gospel of Jesus Christ? Let us be balanced. Uh, the fact that some people have gone into extremities does not mean we should now not teach the word of God again. It is true that giving is not the only key to prosperity. If you work hard, you will prosper. Yeah, can I hear somebody say amen? Yeah, so, but the Bible also says that when we sow, in, in fact, it tells us in 2 Corinthians 9, 6, that he who sows sparingly shall reap sparingly. He who sows bountifully shall reap bountifully. Every, in verse 7, it says, every man according as he has proposed in his heart, so let him give. And he's using the word sowing for giving. And then in verse 8, it says, God is able to make all grace abound towards you, so that you always having all sufficiency in all good things may abound unto every good work. It works. And I say, God, prosper you beyond measure. Father, visit this, your children, with your kindness. Let this all grace that 2 Corinthians 9, 8 talks about be their portion. Let it manifest in all sufficiency for them. Bless them beyond their wildest imaginations. Open doors for them they cannot open for them. Give them promotions they cannot get for themselves. Meet needs that they cannot meet for themselves. To the glory of your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. We celebrate you. We love you. Come on, let's love on all of them and celebrate them with a big hand clap. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus.